Hello friends, if you want to know what is agile in software development, then you are watching the right video. Firstly, you need to understand why agile is required. To know that, you should understand the drawbacks of traditional approaches for software development. Now, let me explain you the stages and drawbacks of one of the well-known traditional approach of software development called waterfall method. As you can see here, there are six stages in waterfall method. First stage is requirement gathering and analysis. During this stage, detailed requirement of software system are gathered from the client. Next is design stage which involves deciding which coding language and which database has to be used. Next is built stage which involves coding the software. Next is test stage which involves testing the software. Next is deployment stage which involves delivering the software to the client. And the last is maintenance stage which involves support given after the delivery of the product. Now there are many drawbacks in this waterfall method. First, each stage starts only after the previous stage is finished. No working software is produced until the late stage. That is no business value to the product till the last stage cannot accommodate changing requirements once the first phase is passed. Testing period comes quite late in the developmental process. Small changes or errors that arise in the completed software may cause a lot of problems. This method involves high amount of risk and uncertainty. Now, to overcome all these drawbacks, Agile is being most preferred for software development. Now, before going to the definition of Agile, let us first understand how and why Agile is used in software development. Say for example, there is a business need to develop a software to maintain all the activities in school. Here, the client has some conditions. He wants to see working product from the initial stages of project itself. Next, he wants to implement this product feature wise so that he doesn't need to wait till the entire product is developed as in the waterfall method. He wants a scope for requirement change any time in the project. He wants to be involved in the project from the day one. So, for this kind of requirements, waterfall method is not suitable. Only Agile can fulfill this kind of requirements. Here, client priority is to first implement enquiry feature, next finance feature, next transport and then attendance feature. Accordingly, team develops enquiry feature and release the same to the client without much of documentation as done in waterfall method. Then the team start working on the next release that is finance feature and it is a continuous process. Client shares his feedback once a feature is released so that team will know whether the client is satisfied with what they are developing and the team can take necessary steps if required. If the client requires any changes in the released feature, the same can be implemented in the future releases. Friends, the requirement for all the features could be given before starting the first release 
or he may give the requirement for future releases when the team is working on the current release that is for example when team is working on inquiry feature parallelly client may give requirement for the next release that is for the finance feature now let us go through the definition of agile and the high level stages involved before releasing each feature to the client friends please understand agile is not a method nor a process it is a set of values and principles used in software development now definition of agile agile is a practice that promotes continuous iteration of development and testing throughout the software development life cycle both development and the testing activities are concurrent unlike the waterfall method now as you can see in the diagram one feature is planned design built tested then released and get the feedback from the client and the cycle or iteration repeats for the next feature and continues till the end of the project now let us go through the fundamental values and the principles of agile to get more understanding about agile advantages now the four fundamental values of agile are first individuals and interactions are over processes and tools that is individuals and interactions are given more preference than the processes and tools next working software is given more preferences than compared to comprehensive documentation next responding to change is given more preferences than just following a plan next customer collaboration frequently is given more preferences than just negotiating a contract now let us go to the two old principles of agile first our is priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software next welcome changing requirements even late in the development next deliver working software frequently next business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project next build projects around motivated individuals next the most efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within a development team is face to face conversation next working software is the primary measure of progress next agile processes promote sustainable development sponsors developers and users should be able to maintain a constant ten pace indefinitely next continuous attention to technical excellence next simplicity the art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential next the best architectures requirements and designs emerge from self organizing teams next at regular intervals the team reflects and how to become more effective then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly now friends there are many useful methods for applying agile values and principles in software development there are many like agile scrum methodology lean software development kanban extreme programming crystal dynamic system development feature driven development friends but the most common 
and most widely used method is agile scrum methodology i have explained this entire scrum process in my previous video please go to my channel and watch the same thank you friends please like my video and subscribe to my channel